content segments during Valley Por Vida were paid for by Best Friends Animal Society. Hello, my name is Donovan Hinojosa. I'm the development director here at Palm Valley Animal Society. Today we're at our Lori P. Andrews Center, um, and we're here with this cute little furry puppy. Um, he was born in a care a few weeks ago. Um, currently does not have a name. Its mother's name is Adora. Um, so she has five other litter mates um, in the kennel with the mother. Um, they're not available for adoption yet because they're too young, but they are available for foster. Um, you can take the litter home. Um, and there's some, once you're eating solid food, they'll be available for adoption. Um, if you can't adopt and you're interested in fostering, this is a great way um, to ease into becoming a pet parent. They'll provide you with the supplies, um, anything you need. If you need some milk, um, some soft food, um, we'll help you with the transition from the milk to the hard food. Um, and then once the pups are available for adoption, we'll be able to intake them back in and adopt them out. So they currently don't have any health issues. Um, the biggest thing with puppies and kittens that we have is the reason for them not being available for adoption is they're not up to date on their vaccines. Um, they don't have strong immune systems. We do have to wait until they're about six weeks for them to be able to get adopted um, so they can get their first vaccine. Um, that immune system's slowly being built up. Um, they're weaned off milk, they're eating strong food, they're a little more independent, they don't depend on their mother. Um, so that's really the only thing we're waiting for this little guy, just for him to get a little bit older to be adopted. So these puppies, since they are young, um, they, the younger the puppies are, the easier they are to adapt into different households, you know. Um, if it's easier to introduce them into a larger dog, into a, a cat. Um, when you take a younger pet home, the transition's always easier, um, just because you get to mold their little personalities. Um, but yeah, we can see him going to a family. Um, he is a shepherd mix, so probably um, a moderately active to an active household. Um, but for the most part, as you see right now, he's not hyperactive. He's probably a little scared because he's so small and he's missing his mom right now. But other than that, I mean, just a loving home that can provide him with the care he needs. Um, so, with any pet, we have this rule that we go by here, um, like in the animal shelters, animal welfare, it's called the three by three by three rule. So the first rule, the first three is just give the dog three days to decompress. Um, the shelters are a very stressful place, they're loud, they're smelly. Um, most pets are confined to their kennels with very little playtime. Um, so it's just, you know, a lot of times when they go home those first three days, they're not going to show much personality or they might be a little hesitant to interact with other people, other dogs, um, but just take into consideration they've been in a shelter. Um, so the first three days, they're probably going to want to sleep. They probably won't want to eat or drink water, um, but just leave it there for them. They'll probably come pick at it as they're getting comfortable. And then three weeks just to know, um, for them to settle in, um, start building those new routines, starting to familiarize themselves with the home, with the people in the home, um, with other pets, and then giving the pet three months to finally realize this is my home, um, this isn't a threat, and for them to really feel comfortable um, in that space. So the mom came in pregnant on August 9th. Um, he was born about three weeks ago, so he probably needs another three to four weeks. Um, again, once they're eating the solid food, um, they got their vaccine. The first round of vaccines will bring them out to the adoption floor, like right here behind me where we have all the puppies, um, and he'll be available for adoption. Um, but in the meantime, if anyone's interested in fostering, um, you can take him or you can take the whole litter home. Um, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, so if you're interested in adopting, um, you can visit our website at pvastx.org slash adopt. Um, there's two options there. You can view our cats, you can view our available dogs. Um, and then again, if you can adopt, you can always foster. Um, Taking a pet home isn't for everyone. Other ways to help are to donate or to give back. You can drop off food at the locations, pee pads. Um, you can visit our website again, pvstx.org. If you click the giving tab, there's so many um, ways we use the donations we receive. We use them for transport. Content segments during Valley Por Vida were paid for by Best Friends Animal Society.